Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. online course on legal language, legal including general English. This is lecture 19. I am Dr. Divya Gupta, an assistant officer at GLA University, Matra. Today we are going to study essay writing on the topics of legal English or legal interest. So basically when, it, when we talk about essay writing, you people might be thinking that essay writing is just a day to day or a colloquial task that we do. It is nothing to do with intricate parts or maybe it is really very difficult to understand. But believe me dear learners, this is something really incredible and plays a pivotal role when it comes to UPSC exams. Many of us, many of the students who are sitting here, they might be preparing for PCSJ, right? So for you people, this is an integral part of your question paper. And believe me, if you are going to achieve good marks or get good marks in this, this is going to create a drastic change or you can say a remarkable difference in your credits. So starting with essay writing, especially talking about legal interest, the essay topics on legal interest, because this is not actually the regular essays that we have been writing till now, the routine regular essays. No. This is entirely different from that because you have to use statutes, you have to use legal precedents, you have to use case laws, you have to come up with court laws. So basically this is all like comprising the whole thing into one category. So you cannot aloof yourself for one moment thinking it to be an essay and considering it to be a very easy topic, a very easy uh, subject matter or we can say the, uh, uh, you can say everyone's cup of tea. No, it's not like that. So let's begin with essay writing. So how are we going to understand or what are the learning outcomes after this lesson? This after, after completing this lecture, my dear learners, you would be acquainted with the understanding, you would be able to develop an understanding of drafting a legal essay. What are different steps? step by step you will move forward towards the conclusion. So what are the mid paths through which you are going to move in that condition? Further you would understand how to analyze, analyze the prospects of different types of legal essays. This is again a very important uh, part because legal essays are not of simple type, they are of different types like analytical, sometimes persuasive. So it depends on the purpose of the essays, legal essays that you are going to draft. Thirdly, you would be able to understand the importance, need and role, importance, need and role of legal essays because the examiner actually wants to know about your writing skills, how much you know about the subject, about the topic and last but not the least, you would be able to understand the difference between legal essay and regular essays. So this is my humble request everyone, my dear learners, that this is a very important topic to actually, actually like uh, take your marks to the height, to the pinnacle or maybe pull you down towards earth. So be ready with your perform, with your, with your, per, uh, with your excellent performance right here. So further we will move towards the course content. Now in this content section you would be able to understand the introduction of essay writing. What do you mean by essay writing? Basically the word limit for UPSC exams is, is 1000 to 1200 words. And then you would be able to understand the types of essays, then steps to draft an essay and importance of legal maxims and quotes. So remember without legal maxims and without quotes obviously you would not be able to acquire good marks and good percentage in this. Further if I talk about contents like all these things play an important role, but without the content knowledge, actually like 
yeah format obviously you are going to follow follow the format but if it comes to uniform civil code if somebody ask you to write down the topic or write down an essay on uniform civil code and if you don't know anything about that what will happen obviously you would not be able to give any answer or any relevant legal uh, uh, you can say the uh, recent updates on that particular topic without that content knowledge obviously these formats are not going to play a uh, like a, a touchstone or maybe it's, it's not a kind of like a way where you can deal with it so basic content knowledge is important along with along with the format information along with rest of the things that you require so in this thing we are going to forward move further by talking about what are essay writing what is actually essay writing and how what are the steps related to it so drafting a legal essay requires a structured approach to effectively present legal arguments analyze issues and support your conclusions so in this case this is a structured pattern a structured approach where you would come up with legal arguments sometimes counter arguments also analyze the issues and support your conclusions so these are few important few few important things where you have to uh, like ponder your attention towards pay attention towards for example if i talk about any uh, court or uh, if i talk about i i should begin with with a court or legal maxim remember with a court or legal maxim because if you are going to begin with legal maxim or court it's not like um uh, life is like an ice cream eat it before it melts no not like that code i mean you must come up with some legal maxim or legal idiom or latin phrase related to that particular topic right for example if i say if i give you the topic if i give you the topic if i say that uh, um, okay right to speedy trial so right to speedy trial if somebody ask you to write down that essay now in this condition how will you begin with this legal quotation or maxim in this condition you will certainly start with a maxim if i say interest republicae ut sit finish litium now this means it is the interest it is the interest of the state that there should be an end to litigation so in this condition what is the thing interest so in that condition if i say that uh, legal maxim which i was trying to explain you is like if i say interest interest republicae ut sit ut sit finis finis litium now in this condition what is the meaning of this particular uh, legal maxim if i say it is in the interest of the state that there should be an end to litigation so it must be the beginning of that particular thing and apart from that if i say all this thing this is a legal maxim you should begin with such type of legal maxim every time or or many other related to it so this is what an introduction part is then further you should move further towards different steps to be followed while writing an essay it's not it's not uh, the ideas that come or pours into pour into your mind but this is particularly understanding the essay question like suppose if you got two topics if you have two topics for example uh, first topic is raising legal age of marriage uh, in india or you can talk about raising legal age for marriage in india suppose this is one topic raising legal age of women for marriage in india now this is your topic and the other choice is status of women status of women in india now in this condition remember my dear learners if you have these two topics and you don't have any idea related to this legal age raising illegal age of women of for marriage now in this condition you would say that no if i'm going to talk about raising legal age of women uh, for marriage in this condition what happens like you would certainly get the attention of the external or the examiner but since you don't have any idea about this topic will that 
uh, fetch good marks. No, my dear learners, just remember that these things are not going to create any kind of uh, like a, you cannot say that it will definitely take your marks to the higher position because since you do not have any idea to this topic about this topic. So, remember status of women in India in this you can definitely talk about uh, the status of India and in that condition you can talk about certain parameters sometimes Vedic age you can talk about then you can talk about the uh, pre-independence and then you can talk about the post independence. So, there you can definitely divide your essay into structures along with their uh, sometimes statutes, sometimes litigation, sometimes uh, legal precedents. So, you can definitely come up with certain ideas, but believe me selection of topic must be very particular. You must be uh, really like uh, uh, be very attentive towards selecting your topic of uh, essay writing. Then uh, yes, of course, I told you this research work, conduct thorough research to gather legal authorities, cases, statutes, regulations, secondary sources, relevant materials. Now in this condition, what if I say like uh, if I talk about right to speedy trial, right to speedy trial. In this condition, if uh, somebody gives you this particular thing, you should know that in India, in India, who was the person who actually initiated this particular uh, speedy trial like PIL, who filed the first PIL for that and for that like uh, justice delayed or justice denied in that condition, you must know about this particular first PIL who has actually gone through. So, first PIL was done by Hussein Ara, was done by Hussein Ara Khatun versus state of Bihar and in that condition. Remember that you should focus on those case trials, those scenes and those uh, statutes. In this condition, what if I say, uh, what, what is the today's progress in that? You should mention about today's progress also. If you are talking about right to speedy trial, remember that who gone, uh, who started the, who gave the first PIL and then what is today's progress? The condition, uh, today's condition, it is really very important to talk, up, talk about. Then if I talk about legal authorities, cases, statutes and uh, like basically when it comes to corruption, corruption uh, topic if I say corruption topic or if I talk about any uh, legal cases, uh, maternity benefits. Suppose if you talk about maternity benefits. Do you have any idea about that? Yes, maternity, maternity benefits, it came in 1961 for the first time, it started in India. You should have at least some idea about any topic that you are drafting, any topic of the essay that you are coming up. So, this is again a very important point to, uh, to focus on, remember, right. So, further you should uh, definitely make a proper choice and research on that. Uh, regulations on that secondary sources, statutes, relevant materials, legal authorities involved in that. Then you must create an outline. What would be the outline? Remember, the outline could be you can say the quote first of all, then you can come up with introduction. If it is an introduction, yes, it is done, then background, create a background for it, right? Like if, if you have any kind of background for this, you can definitely go on. Then you should talk about issues and if issues then statutes which are related to it, case laws that are related to it. Then you must talk about suggestions if there is any kind of suggestion or solution that you want to give. So, these are basic points and at the end conclusion. This is the proper outline or structure of an essay if it is written on legal background or on legal topic. Right. So, remember this is not a regular topic that you are trying to come up with. Organize your ideas, arguments, key points logically. So, this is what we should know. It should have quotations, it should begin with quotations. A bombastic quotation or legal maxim should actually cater the attention of the reader of, of the external who is giving, who is going to give you the marks. So, all of a sudden he would be impressed to know that you know something about that legal maxim, about that particular topic. Right, so this is what like the outline is. After that, like we must go on with introduction part. So, uh, uh, what is introduction part? Like write an engaging introduction that provides context for the essay. Briefly state the issues and your thesis or arguments. 
Now, in this condition, how the introduction would be written? The doctrine of unconscionability has played a crucial role in contract law, serving as a safeguard against unfair contractual terms. This essay explores. So, basically, what is your aim will come in this introduction. Your aim, your objective. So, remember aim, objective. So, what is, first of all, you, you must know the answer. What is this topic? If I say uniform, uniform civil court. So, you must know that what is this whole uh, like uh, topic is all about. You must try to explain it properly. Then aim and objective of that, how far this has reached to India or how far Indians are able to like our system has actually tried to absorb uh, this particular code. So, and uh, its evolution in recent cases aiming to analyze its current application or in protecting consumers rights. So, this is again a very important part where introduction has to be a very enticing one a detailed description of anything that you are going to write. After introduction, the main body paragraphs. Remember that your paragraph, your, your essay is always divided into uh, several paragraphs because they would be dealing uh, with certain uh, parts, certain objectives. Like first part will deal with what is this or what is the problem. Second part will deal with the effect of that problem on the society. And third part will deal with the solution that you would like to suggest for that. So, yes, of course, your uh, arguments is divided into main body paragraphs. Each paragraph should have, should focus on specific points, sub issues, use topic sentences. Yes, topic sentence is again very important. Topic sentence is different from title. Remember, I am not using slash, rather I am using title title on the top and then topic sentence. So, you should begin your paragraph with this topic sentence because topic sentence will certainly have the gist of that particular paragraph remember. So, let us see the main body paragraph whatever I, what the example I have written. One key aspect of unconscionability is the presence of unequal bargaining power between the parties. In the case of Adams versus Corporation XYZ actually I have taken some uh, fictional or fictitious characters in order to come up with the uh, with the explanation part because like uh, that will create a problem. I would certainly say that if I have taken Adams versus Corporation XYZ because we are going to learn how to draft an essay. We are not going to like uh, say or just comment on anything like this. Uh, yes, of course, you can come up with case laws. You can definitely talk about case laws and case laws are of two types remember. They are landmark cases, they are landmark cases and the second one is recent cases. So, when it comes to recent, when it comes to landmark cases, you must know that uh, when it comes to landmark cases, remember landmark cases are old renowned cases that we know. For example, Keshav Nanda Bharti's case, for example, if I say A.K. Gopalan case, then you can talk about uh, ADM, uh, like uh, the case that was related to ADM, uh, Jabalpur case. Then further you can talk about Vishakha versus state of uh, Rajasthan case. Then you can talk about Parmanand Katara's versus Union of India case. So, these are landmark cases, right? And you can uh, definitely say Keshav Nanda case, simple. Right, but when it comes to recent case, you cannot say Suresh case, Mukesh case. You have to simply correctly tell that Suresh versus court of this case, right. So, you have to completely take up the name of that particular so, so XYZ versus XYZ, XYZ versus Z uh, ABC. So, you must mention everything in recent cases. Remember, landmark cases. Although there are multiple cases, there are uh, innumerable case laws and many people, many students who are sitting here, they very well know it is really very difficult. They complain uh, every now and then that it is really very difficult to understand case laws and remember case laws to mention in uh, their essays. But in that condition, I would like to tell them that this is not an easy thing. Rather, you can definitely learn them by heart by just sparing one hour daily. 
at least you would be able to learn five case laws daily then five plus five plus five into 365 days remember you would be able to concentrate and learn them by heart no matter they are landmark cases or recent cases so this is again a very important point that try to mesmerize memorize all the case laws at least prominent landmark cases and prominent recent cases cases because whenever you incorporate all those things in your uh, essay that will certainly raise your marks right multiply your marks so in this case remember when it comes to case laws don't forget to mention either landmark cases or recent cases or both of them to work out very well yes so this is what about main body paragraph i told you that uh, title and topic sentences play a very important role then you must come up with legal analysis as if like there are divided into several paragraphs and these paragraphs deals with the introduction part then main body part and then what is the problem uh, effect of that problem sometimes legal analysis is also very important step number 6 now in this condition legal analysis what is your analytical power says like suppose if i say uniform civil code in this condition if it is uniform civil code you must actually know that why there is a delay justice delayed justice denied so you must know at least that why uniform civil code is not uh, is uh, like is, is actually not acceptable everywhere or why is it like in a process of coming uh, in india or accepted by india by indians or by indian judiciary or maybe like that because there is like india is a diverse country with with with, with the heterogeneous background people with heterogeneous background they are from different religions they are from different creeds they are from different cultures and and that is the reason why it actually if we are going to project if we are going to accept that uniform civil court remember that you have to be you have to change and bring about a change from the zero level zero level means like the personal laws would also change with that universe uniform civil court so you must come up with legal analysis and in that legal analysis remember don't forget to mention the statutes and precedents earlier earlier like uh, any other like uh, case laws or on the basis of these legal precedences any other action has already been taken so mention all of them like that so this is again a very important part and uh, explain how they apply to the facts of your case and issues yes obviously when you talk about keshav nanda bharti case uh, 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 so in that condition if i talk about keshav nanda bharti case law in that condition you can definitely implement all those things or use those things that particular knowledge to other cases related to fundamental rights or related to all those like constitutional rights so there how you can come up with uh, these uh, things like using those legal precedents in the present case legal analysis now in this condition in adams versus corporation xyz the court relied on established precedent in contract law which recognizes that unconscionable contracts are voidable this means that a court can refuse to enforce a contract or strike down unfair terms the court's decision in this case underscores the importance of ensuring that both parties have equal access to the negotiation process and that the terms of the contract are not oppressive or unfairly one sided so in this case you must come up with that legal analysis that what on the basis of that adam versus corporation xyz court has taken so and so decision so on the basis of that we can say each party has the part has the uh, right to negotiate a negotiation process and the terms of the contract are not oppressive or unfairly one sided so on the basis of an individual because since you people are going to be a part of judiciary you are all planning to be a part of that legal uh, periphery or arena definitely like you must have that kind of analytical power also so with this note we shall move further towards counter arguments counter arguments like maybe sometimes opposing uh, that particular topic or maybe uh, address potential counter arguments or op opposing viewpoints 
sometimes acknowledging alternative interpretations of the law of conflicting cases explain why your position is stronger. So, you must come up with counter arguments like suppose if I uh, say if there is some kind of like uh, issues for example, if I say for uh, women benefits, for women benefits if I have uh, article uh, 15, article 15 says that there is a woman benefit article 15 sub clause sub clause 3. Now, in this condition article let me write down properly uh, woman benefit now in this condition article article 15 sub clause sub clause 3 actually given the power now given the power to states now this has actually article 15 clause number 3 has given the power to states where they can change or they can make their own laws for women upliftment. So, in that condition you must come up with counter, counter arguments that no this thing is absolutely wrong if the women if the state has does power this power then definitely it can bring about a change in women's status. So, believe me if you have that kind of analytical skills you would be definitely uh, perfect at counter arguments also with the statutes with the regulations with legal precedents with all these judiciary writings you may get the ideas of uh, case laws along with that to come up with your counter arguments. So, in this condition at the end how are you going to conclude it? Summarize all key points it is not the conclusion conclusion would not be too long you know it would not be too long rather it would be short and summary point of everything that you have written. First of all introduction uh, start with the legal maxim then you can you leave that legal maxim rather you come up with the introduction part and after that introduction part you must know that how to how you can uh, uh, like talk about the background of that particular um, topic and uh, to be or not to be sometimes discussing the pros and cons. For example, if I say uh, like this is something important many people say that right demerits and demerits. Uh, but, but when I say justice uh, when I give you the topic status uh, raising legal age. Now, in this condition uh, raising legal age legal age uh, for marriage right. So, raising legal age for marriage is actually like it does not have any kind of cons basically this is something uh, like acceptable everywhere acceptable everywhere right. So, it is not a big deal like anything anything and any topic may have cons. You can talk about merits and demerits yes of course, about certain points about certain things, but not on all topics you can definitely skip certain parts. So, pros and cons you can definitely talk about them depending on the topic itself depending on the topic itself I am repeating it once again. So, um, if I say justice uh, delayed justice uh, denied justice delayed now in this condition this is something relevant who would say that it has merits it has demerits to it justice delayed justice denied justice delayed do you have any kind of demerit to it no not at all. So, there is no point of using cons in that rather we have merits and merits also merits and merits only on that side. So, Remember while writing this conclusion remember to restate your thesis and provide concise, concise resolution or opinions on legal issues. So, let us let us talk about this conclusion whatever like uh, the paragraphs that I have been uh, uh, using over here uh, they are uh, basically fictitious and, uh, and in this condition I have referred to some book and uh, the references are also there on the back slide last slide. In conclusion the doctrine of unconscionability continues to serve as a vital tool in contract law to protect individuals from oppressive. So, this is the gist you can see the summary of your essay summary of your essay or in other words the synopsis the synopsis of your essay. Now, in this condition this is what vital role protect individuals from oppressive and unfair contractual terms. The case of now which case have I used as a statute or legal precedence for that legal precedence I have used the case Adams versus corporation XYZ highlights the judiciary's 
Now, in this condition, highlights the judiciary's commitments to upholding principles of fairness and equality in contract formation. So, you must remember that all these things play a very important role. All these legal precedences that you are quoting along with regulations, statutes, then case laws, they play a vital role. Vital role, as if you breathe, remember, as if you breathe, the life, uh, all these things, the statutes, regulations, legal precedences, these uh, case laws, they are soul of your essay. They are soul of your essay. They are actually blood that flows through your essay and provide life to your writing work, to, to your written work, remember. So, it reinforces the notion that unconscionable contracts should not be enforced, particularly when one party possesses significantly greater bargaining power and takes advantage of the other party's vulnerability. Yeah. So, this is the conclusion of our essay. How are you going to draft that essay? All the points will be summarized well in that condition. Further, you must come up with citations. As if I told you, blue book is actually the uh, pattern which you are going to follow being uh, from the legal background. Yes, uh, while writing the topics on legal uh, terminologies or maybe uh, legal writings, legal topics, you must remember to use blue book citations. And for this next few slides, I have taken up for uh, explaining and teaching how these uh, citations are done. The, the way you are going to cite the, uh, the several textbooks or you are going to cite some uh, journals or maybe articles, sometimes some cases or sometimes some statutes, how are you going to uh, cite them, right? So, how are you going to cite them according to blue book? Now, in this condition, proofread and edit. At the end, in the in next few slides, obviously, I am going to come up with all those citations. How are you going to cite them? And But before that, proofread and edit, right? Because this is again a very important part. You must actually know that how things are proofread, like uh, first copy, first draft, second draft, third draft final draft. So, remember like you must show your copy to some peer and they must uh, give some kind of feedback. So, that like uh, it should be properly checked, thoroughly checked, remember. So, carefully proofread your essay for clarity, grammar, punctuation, formatting errors and ensure your writing is clear and concise, right. So, this is again a very important part. Further after proofreading and this, you can finally summarize, uh, submit it and finalize it, yeah. So, make necessary revisions and finalize the whole thing, follow the guidelines provided. What are the guidelines? Like if there is a time limit, if there is a word limit or uh, some kind of like uh, you can say, uh, you have to use some maxims like at least 5 to 6 maxims or if there is any kind of like. Uh, uh, hard and fast some, some rules and regulations for writing an essay, for drafting an essay. So, remember to follow each one of them, yeah. So, provided by your instructor or publication for formatting and submissions. So, this is very important. Finally, you can definitely, now you are done, now your work is done and you can definitely go on with your submission part, right. So, with this note, we move towards different types of legal essays. Now, uh, yes, of course, we have already done, till now we have done regular routine uh, essay writing, but how these legal essays are also divided into few categories. Now, on the basis of that categories, I am going to tell you, on the basis of their objectives actually, their aim, on the basis of their aim, their objectives, you divide them into several categories. So, let us approach them, let us see them with different purposes requiring distinct approach. So, let us talk about analytical legal essays. The first type is analytical legal essays. Now, what is the title suggest? The title is clearly indicates, uh, indicative like in this condition you can easily know that analytical legal essays are those essays which require you to critically analyze a legal issue, concept or principle. 
you should provide an in-depth examination of the topic and offer your analysis and insights. Remember that you must come up with these kind of like analysis and insights on that topic, right? So, in that condition, for example, if I have, for example, look at this one, the topic that I have taken, the doctrine of separation of powers in the US constitution. Now, in this condition, if the topic is this, how are you going to analyze it? Now, analytical essay on this topic would delve into the history part, first of all. It will talk about the history, historical origin of the doctrine. As if I told you, like if there is a right to speedy trial, who actually uh, filed the first PIL? Now, in this case, you must know that uh, right to speedy trial is actually one thing that you can write to a speedy trial uh, first time like uh, it was given by first PIL by Hussain Ara Khatun versus state of Bihar. Now, in this condition speedy trial right to speedy trial this was particularly taken up by Hussain Ara Khatun versus state of Bihar. So, you can talk about that and you can talk about your analytical, your insights as if I told you that historical origin of that particular law. So, its application in the US legal systems and implications of recent court decisions. Recent uh, condition of any, recent scenario you can say, recent scenario of any, any law, any statute is really very important because this actually gives you plus one, plus one when you write something in that condition, okay. So, this is again a very important thing, analytical legal essays because this will show you, show your perception, right. This will actually show your perception, your views and your perspective towards that particular law, which is again a very important part. Next one is persuasive. How much you are persuasive? impressive. How can you convince other people with your essay? Many legal uh, like essays are written, many legal essays are written by scholars, legal scholars who actually talk about certain laws like suppose if I say uh, you, AI, if I talk about uh, some uh, legal essay, use of AI in artificial intelligence in medical field. Now, in this condition, if this topic is given to you, now like scholars can definitely write several research articles in this and this, this idea can definitely influence uh, different people. This idea can influence the lawmakers, the policy makers to come up, policy makers to come up with the idea that yes, we can definitely include and make laws, formation of law for the formation of law in this through these essays, clear? So, you must remember these things are really very important, persuasive legal essays. Now, let us talk about persuasive legal essays aim to persuade the reader. We do not know who the reader is, whether he is the judge or uh, he is from the judiciary or he is a legal expert, maybe from, maybe uh, he is from um, different background, you never know who the reader is, how much he would be influenced, but your writing would be like that. To accept a particular viewpoint or argument re regarding a legal issue, if there is any kind of legal issue, you must put forth your ideas. You must present a strong case and provide compelling, compelling evidence. Evidence means proof that why this thing is very important to be implemented, right? So, you must come up with that kind of case laws, some legal precedences to prove your idea that this is correct and this has to be implemented and reasoning with, with logical reasoning it is important. So, the need for suppose if I talk about any topic need for strict gun control laws in the United States. Now, need for strict gun control laws in the United States because people, they lavishly use it uh, anytime, 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 everywhere, anywhere, there is no restriction. So, your essay must have that kind of uh, present statistical data, 
Yes, of course. In order to persuade anyone, first point you should focus on statistical data. Second thing, your legal precedence. You can definitely talk about certain other cases also which has taken place, which were there before this particular case happened. And persuasive arguments, you must talk about persuasive arguments to advocate for strict gun control laws. So thereafter, you must come up with statistical data to, to, to authenticate your viewpoint, right? And then further, moving up to the next category that is comparative legal essays. Now, comparative legal essays, obviously you can compare your country with other country also. Uh, any topic, any law that is prevalent in your country, in other countries and now in India as well. For example, if I say there is a law um, uh, that has already been accepted in uh, US that, that abortion is a crime in US now, recently or like this is a law and gradually it has uh, become a part of uh, many other countries also. India is again thriving to accept this particular thing and so comparative is you can compare your country's situation with other countries. Uniform civil code, yes definitely we are eager to uh, use this or just uh, accept this uniform civil code but the thing is that the situations because of diversified uh, like uh, people over here, culture, religion etc. we are unable to do that in comparison to other countries, okay. So, <clears throat> Your essay must have a comparative study of certain areas, some with, with statistical data, some laws, some uh, statutes, you must come up with that. So let us see, comparative legal essays involves comparing and contrasting legal systems, principles and practices in different jurisdictions. You should analyze the similarities and differences, similarities and differences and draw conclusions, right? So you can definitely talk about India, you can talk about US, you can talk about Kenya, you can talk about Israel. So many other countries you can compare your India, your, your country with others or maybe other countries with, with any other country in order to talk about the. So you can talk about, uh, you can talk about different countries, maybe with India, compare India with other countries, this country with other country. Uh, so, this is all a comparison, comparison made on the basis of this. For example, like I have taken a topic, comparative analysis of privacy laws in the European Union and United States. That is, I like, uh, I am not pointing out towards India, rather privacy laws in European Union and the United States. Now, in this condition, you are going to come up with stats, first of all. You are going to come up with laws, case laws. You are going to come up with legal precedence, you, you are going to uh, talk about statutes, then so comparative study examine the key provisions, what are these key provisions of privacy laws in both juris, uh, jurisdictions, highlight the differences, difference in approach of different countries and discuss the impact on data protection. So these are few points on which you are going to uh, like focus. So these are, these are comparative legal essays. Now case analysis essays, case analysis essays, when we talk about case analysis, it focus on analyzing a specific legal case and when we focus on uh, like analyzing certain cases, we can compare it with others also to find out the correct answer, including its facts, legal issues, court decisions and implications. Later on in my next lectures also like I am going to discuss about case uh, laws also and uh, how to draft them, you will learn the difference between different uh, case studies, case laws and uh, yes of course. So you would try to, you should try to come up with that case law analysis or case analysis essays. So take up one case and then you can talk about the legal case, the facts of that case, then legal issues that are, uh, that have occurred, you can talk about court decisions then you can talk about the implications of that case. So these things are going to create a periphery, the, the case analytical, uh, it, it will definitely provide you the pathway to analyze certain things. So you would provide, you should provide a detailed analysis of the case significance. Significance is importance, remember. So 
in this way you can definitely work out very well. For example, case Roe versus Wade in 1973. The case analysis essay on Roe versus Wade would discuss the case's historical context, legal issues related to abortion rights that I have already discussed you, discussed with you earlier. The Supreme Court's decision and the case's enduring impact on reproductive rights. So, this is what the case is all about in 1973. So, you can definitely discuss this case with the help of case analytical structure. You can talk about facts, you can talk about legal issues, you can talk about court decisions. So, these are certain things where you can work out decisions. Then further uh, conclusion. So, these are certain things where you can think to focus on case analysis essays. Legal research essays, sometimes legal research essays are also written where you would research on certain topics. Legal research essays involve conducting original legal research on a specific topic or question. Like you can talk about certain uh, maxim, legal maxim and uh, would maybe come up with counter argument, maybe come up with certain kind of change in that. You should gather and analyze legal sources, statutes. So, whatever like legal uh, sources you have been using, statutes that you are using, regulations that you are using or case laws you are using. So, you must come up with the answer to those legal questions. So, that means legal research is first of all raising a question. You must raising a question, you must raise a question first of all. If you have raised that question, then what would be the suitable answer? Suitable answer to that question. So, this is what research is all about and in this duration, what is the method that you are talking about? Is it qualitative research, qualitative research or quantitative research? So, it depends quantitative research. So, it depends that which type of research you are doing going to do. So, legal research essays actually will talk about already laid legal precedents. You talk about regulations, you talk about statutes, you talk about legal sources and then you can bring about a change in that if you want. So, this is what research is all about. For example, legal implementation or implications of autonomous vehicles in tort liability. So, legal implications of autonomous vehicles in tort liability, this is the topic if I say for legal research essays. Now, how will you do that research? How will you write that particular essay? You would definitely focus on the researching recent cases. Obviously, as I told you researching recent cases because case laws are two, right? So, first one is, first one is and second one is, first one is recent, right? Recent, right? And uh, what about the first one? Come on, tell me everyone. Sometimes, which are really landmark cases, landmark cases. So, talk about recent cases. You have to talk about recent cases, search about them and legal scholarship to provide insights into how the law is evolving to address life. I told you legal scholarship, what do you mean by that? Legal scholarship is research done by scholars, articles written by scholars, articles written by scholars. Now, in this condition, these scholars will certainly set some rules, will set some pattern for you and that will definitely bring about a change in the whole scenario. So, legal research essays and uh, related to autonomous vehicles. So, what are the, first of all you will talk about recent uh, cases and second one you are talking about, you are going to talk about the articles written by scholars. So, these things are going to provide you an idea how legal research essays are written and then further we will talk about la, uh, law review articles. So, law review articles are like uh, those comprehensive scholarly essays. Where, where we explore complex legal issues in detail and uh, what it, it clearly indicates that law review articles means like somebody is going to review, review the things that are already uh, like uh, set up. So, they often include extensive research in depth analysis and may be published in law journals. Law journals sometimes 
like uh, we have several, uh, several categories SCI and Scopus Index Law Journals where one can publish these articles. Example, the role of precedent in shaping environmental law, a comprehensive review. The role of precedent, precedent in shaping environmental law. Yes, of course, if there are certain laws already, then you can definitely lay a huge foundation on that, right? You cannot build up the castle uh, in the air. It is not daydreaming. Rather, you have to find a base for it, a foundation for it, right? So, that kind of foundation you can find, you can very easily find over here. And so, a land review article on this topic would delve into a historical development of environmental law. The influence of precedent setting cases, you can come up with certain cases. As if I told you, when I talk about um, uh, certain cases, you must talk about landmark cases, sometimes like recent cases, then you can talk about if it is like adequate amount of knowledge. Basically, it is, it is not dealing with, uh, you must have the adequate amount of knowledge. Adequate amount of knowledge of the topic. It is not of the topic, right? And this is not a rocket science. This is not a rocket science where, where you people can, it is very difficult. No, it is not like that. So, you must have the adequate amount of knowledge, remember. And when it comes to uh, like any problem, any problem over here, yes, of course, you must have some legal setting cases, some precedent cases on the basis of which you can definitely talk about certain new cases. Propose recommendations for future legal re developments. Yes, you can definitely recommend. Recommend means you can suggest. You can suggest some measures. Then you can talk about some uh, proposal from your side. Uh, if there is environmental uh, security or envi environmental protection act, right? So, if there is environmental protection act, you must know that there has to be a kind of recommendation instead of giving some kind of like a penalty on somebody, right? So, in that condition, there has to be a kind of recommendation where the things should be stopped at the first level only before committing a crime. So, in that condition, there has to be a fence around it so that people cannot uh, discard their hazardous substance in the river or maybe pollute the atmosphere. So, there has to be a kind of recommendations that means a sub, uh, sub, uh, proposal to it, okay? So, that is very much required, recommendations for future legal developments. Yes, interpretative legal essays, you can interpret certain essays, you can interpret the laws, you can interpret law, you can interpret statutes, you can interpret maxims according to the legal, according to the recent developments. So, interpretive essays focus on interpreting legal text such as statutes, regulations, case laws. You analyze the language and intent. Intent, what is the content, what is the, uh, uh, you can say the idea that the, uh, that the author wants to convey of the legal text and discuss its application to specific situation. So, this is the things that you are going to focus. For example, an interpretive legal essay might analyze the recent Supreme Court decision and discuss how the court interpreted a specific provision of the constitution or a federal statute. You would examine court's reasoning and its implication for the future cases. So, in this condition, you are going to interpret, interpret judge's decision. That could be also done, right? You can also interpret that that decision very easily, okay? So, this is again a very important part, expository legal essays. Now, in this condition, you must know that expository legal essays aim to provide clear and objective explanation of a legal topic, concept or area of law. You inform the reader about subject matter often without taking the specific stance. Expository is clear picture of everything. You are going to deliver, you are going to come up with a clear picture of everything. So, expository legal essay, the Miranda, Miranda warning. So, this is the expository legal essay. I have taken an example of Miranda warning would explain the origins of this requirement, its purpose in protecting suspects right and its application in criminal law without expressing personal opinions on its effectiveness or legality. 
So, it, it, if, if I talk about Miranda warning that case actually in this condition, you must actually explain everything in a very clear and objective objective explanation. Objective is not is opposite to subjective remember, subjective right. So, you must actually know, you have to keep yourself aloof, then only you would be able to explain this expository legal essays. Policy based legal essays are further, now in this condition when it comes to policy based legal essays, you must remember that what are the policies of essay writing, what are different policies. So, policy essays involve discussion, discussing legal and public policy issues. You evaluate the social, economic and ethical implications of legal rules or decisions and make recommendations for policy changes. You must actually know that what are the reasons, what are the reasons for change in policy. Then who are affected, who are affected by that, right. So, you must actually know all these things. So, policy based legal essays are again very important, buy one get one free. So, this is a policy, but, but uh, that is not related to legal one. So, I am taking up an example, if you are writing a policy based legal essay on the legalization of recreational marijuana drug, you would analyze the current legal framework, discuss the economic and public health impacts. I told you who are affected by that. Before coming up with that policy, you must remember that who are affected, what is the effect, what are the reasons to implement it, what are the merits and what are the demerits. I told you pros and cons. So, legalization and propose policy reforms based on your analysis. So, you must come across with certain factors that what now you can talk about pros and cons. Now, you can talk about pros and cons of the same thing, right. You can talk about the merits and demerits of implementing that marijuana for the recreational purpose, right. So, in this case like this thing is right uh, is, is very much legible when you write certain points, your own personal opinions actually. So, these uh, are different types of essays that we have done till now and further we are we have dealt with several types of essay writing. This is absolutely different experience writing an essay with ample amount of experience. Look, if you start with a particular legal maxim, that will definitely entice the reader to go further. And then with that legal maxim, if you come up with introduction, talking about that topic more, then coming up with data and figures, coming up with statistics, then again you are going to talk about legal uh, case laws. And uh, along with that case logs, if you talk about statutes, regulations, legal precedents, that would add one more feather to your essay writing. Yeah, so these are all types and these are the tips that I have given to you for writing an excellent essay writing, essays, legal essays especially. These are the references that I have taken, uh, uh, reference referred to legal writing in plain English, University of Chicago Press, then legal writing process, analysis and organization. Further, I have taken, uh, I referred, uh, I have referred just writing grammar, punctuation and style for the legal writer. Please be very particular about your grammar because this is not the, like yes, reading make it a full man. You can definitely involve yourself by reading newspapers, by reading journals and articles. Read them carefully and memorize them. Day by day, you would certainly be able to learn all these case laws, all these things that are required and be very particular about uh, dominance or you can say about acquiring, acquiring or possess, possessing that ability to uh, dominate the audience, okay. So, this is very important and in this condition writing cognitively a guide to legal business writing, a lawyer writes, practical guide to legal analysis and then further practical guide to legal writing and legal methods, thereafter scholarly writing for law students. So, these are few references that I have referred along with writing and analysis in the law, legal writing a systematic approach and uh, these are few works that I have referred. 
So with this note, I am Dr. Divya Gupta, an assistant professor at GLA University, signing off for now. But I think with these kind of tips, if you are going to follow them, you would certainly get good marks and good credits in your paper. Wish you all the best for your competitive exams since essay writing actually plays a pivotal role in acquiring good marks in your competitive exams. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone.